Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. And today we're going to be looking at a video tutorial on how to create actions in Photoshop. Now this new tutorial falls into a brand new category on Yannick's Photo School that I just created called Optimizing Workflow. Now everything going into that category will be to optimize your time to minimize the amount of time you spend doing on something, whether it's post-processing, like we're going to be seeing today, or lighting, or pre-shoot organization, everything, all the tutorials that are related to that will be going into that category called optimizing workflow. Now, today we're looking at uh, a Photoshop um, way of optimizing your workflow, and it's a pretty good one at that. It's how to create an action and then apply it to other images. All right. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that your Actions palette is up. And what you do to do that is you go into Window, and the first one down is Action. And you can either pre uh, select it from here, or the shortcut key is Alt-F9. Now, once you have that, you'll see that some actions are already there. Those are our default actions uh, created by Photoshop. And uh, basically, it... Uh, it just gives you a bit of a uh, of some samples of what you can do, and let me just show you. For example, if I take wood frame, and then I go down below here, click the play button, and then you press continue, processing, and there you go. It put a wooden frame around it. If I go to 100%, you can see that it added a nice wooden frame of about 50 pixels around my whole picture. So that's an example of an action. Let me undo this, go back into my history palette. And if you want to see the details of that action, you can actually click down on the arrow here, and you'll see everything that was recorded into that action. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Not as elaborate as this, like, uh, like this action, but just to get you going on actions. Now, let's say we want to record an action here. The first thing we need to do is look at our bar down here. And the first button here is the Stop button and that's why it has that circle on it because we haven't started anything. Uh, the next one is called Begin Recording. Next one is Play. After you've recorded, you want to play it on your other images. You can create another folder, a new set of actions, and this is the button you'll need to start off with. And the last one is Delete, of course, and, but this is the important one to start a new action. It's Create New Action. So you want to click on that and you want to give your action a name. Let me just call this one uh, uh, Child Blue for the blue background. And then I click Record. And then anything that I'm going to be doing now in Photoshop, you'll see appear right below Child Blue here. Let's say, for example, I want to adjust the curves on this image. You remember the curves video that I did not too long ago. Go into Image, Adjustment, Curves or Control M. And let's say I want to give this image a bit of a pop, do a little bit of an S curve here. This looks good. Click OK. Whoops, curves just appeared under the action that we're creating. Now let's say uh, that we want to, um, I don't know, uh, crop this image a little bit. Actually, let's resize it. Let's say we want to. Im go into image size and we want to resize it for the web so, and I want it 640 pixels on the long side. Click OK. I can bring it up to 100% see what it looks like and you see here image size appears. Now uh, let's say I want to put a border around this image. Let me get my, my black color up. Image canvas size and go into pixels Let's say we want a 10 pixel border around this. So we need uh, 10 on each side. That would make 20 altogether. So 660. Whoops. 660 here and 448 here. Select our color. Pure black. OK. And there we go. I like this. And uh, let's stop this recording now. There we go. So in this recording, we have curves, 
image size and canvas size. All right. Now, if we want to apply this to another image, let me just close this image up. I won't save it. Let me just open uh, another image from the same shoot. And all I can do is click on the main, actually, if I bring the arrow up, just click on the action that we did. Then go down to play, click on the play button, and voila, it takes a fraction of a second. Bring this to 100%. And we have our image adjustments. If we look at uh, before and after, of course, before is 100%. So, and it did everything in my image here. It's that simple. You can even have it saved, whatever you want. It can be saved automatically as well if you include it in your action. All right. And this is the tutorial on how to create an action in Photoshop. Now, in our next video tutorial, we're going to push this even further. And again, this will go into the optimizing workflow category. We're going to see how to batch process those actions on multiple photos all at once. And that will save you a tremendous amount of time again. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out for Yannick's Photo School.